Good. All right, we're going to talk about hitting the outside pitch. All right, this is important because from now on, as you get older, this is where most pitchers are going to try to pitch. Okay, most guys are kind of afraid to throw the ball in close to you because they think that's where everyone's power is. They can just get out front and turn on it. So most pitchers, this is safe for them to throw out here. So if we can. If we can know that they're going to try to pitch out there, we need to be able to hit that pitch because that's where they're going to be. Okay? Now, there's a couple things about hitting the outside pitch. Number one is we need to make sure we get in that good setup and loaded position early enough to recognize where the pitch is. Because remember, like we talked about a few weeks ago, if we're trying to load and step, then we're already committing and now that outside pitch is tough. But if we get loaded and down on time, now we can be in a good spot for it. See where my, my hips haven't gone yet, nothing's happened, but if I do this one and I have to rush, I'm already out of whack and that pitch is gonna kill me every time, okay? So the first key, just like where we start every week, good setup, good loaded position on time. So now I'm ready. Wherever the pitch is at, whether it's a fastball, curveball, changeup, outside, inside, up, down, I can see it, and I can determine if I want to swing, and then from that point, what I'm going to do. All right? So remember, everything starts good setup, good load on time. Now, once we're loaded, I want to make it very clear that you do not ever change your swing based on the location of the ball. Everyone understand that? So the swing that you use to hit this one is the same swing you're going to use to hit this one, is the same swing you're going to use to hit that one. Just swing it in a different spot. Don't change your swing. You don't change your swing if it's a curveball, a fastball. It's always the same swing. And to be honest with you guys, you couldn't change your swing if you tried. You have one swing. It is what it is. So don't don't think about that part. All right. What we're gonna do is ball it's away from us. What part of the field do I want to hit it to as a left-handed hitter? Over there. Where's that? Left field. Okay, now I want to hit it to left field, so what do I have to do to hit it over there? What's that? Turn your body? No. To it. Give me a gift. Swing later? Yes. So we're going to let the ball get a little bit deeper. Now, there's a big misconception that when they say let the ball get deeper, has anyone ever heard that? Let the ball get deep, let it travel, that they mean right there. Where's that one going? Left field or in the third base dugout to hit all my friends? Right? That's a foul ball, boys. Okay? Nothing good happens when you hit the ball this far back in the zone. Alright? Just telling you right now. That's the old school, like, when I was your age, all the coaches said, let it get deep, let it get deep, let it get deep. In a game, when the ball's moving fast, First of all, if you can hit that pitch, chances are you're probably also going to hit the catcher's mitt and you got catch interference, which we get on first, but that means it's probably a horrible swing for us. All right, so back here, that's not where the action's at, boys. All right, the action, the deepest you should let it get is probably right to the front of the plate. So if I'm here and I'm loaded, that's just inside my right foot. Right there, now, Look at the angle of my bat. Where am I driving that ball? Maybe over the shortstop's head? There we go. Now we're talking. Okay, even, I'm telling you, even out here, if you catch it out front, as long as you're not doing this and coming off the ball, if you're on the ball, you're good right there. Okay, you don't necessarily have to hit this ball for most of you right handers. You don't have to hit it over the first baseman's head. You don't have to hit it between the first and second baseman. If you can drive this ball anywhere from right up the middle, anywhere over to the line, you're good. So don't think you have to try to feed it right over the first baseman's head. If you drive that ball up the middle, you'll be all right, okay? So that's the, that's the biggest thing. You see it, you get set up early in your load, you recognize where the pitch is at, and you say, okay, I need to let this ball get just a little bit further, and go ahead and hit it, okay? Obviously the middle, 
and the inside pitch, you're going to be catching well in front of your foot. This is the only one that's going to break the plane of your stance. You guys with me? Okay, so I'll probably say it, Dan will probably say it, we'll probably say let it get deeper, let it get travel. Remember, we don't mean this. We mean maybe to the tip of the plate, maybe just past your front foot. All right, but all the action, if you want to drive the ball and hit the ball hard, the action is out in front. Okay, just like when we do our game and I throw a little bit faster, you got to get the bat out in front. All the action, all the good things happen out in front. If you're always getting caught back here, you're going to have a tough time hitting the ball hard if you hit it out on Okay? Yeah. All right. So, good setup. Get our load on time. We can see the pitch, and now we're going to it. Now, one more thing, and this goes for any pitch. Who's ever heard stay inside the ball or hands inside the ball? You ever heard that? Okay. What that means is the path from my hands to this ball is always going to be inside. Imagine there's a straight line right here. It's always going to be inside that line. This would be outside. This is inside. So you're going to take your hands point A, point B. My bat never got out here, did it? If it gets out here, I'm either getting jammed or I'm pulling my hands in like that and hitting a little tennis shot. Okay. So let the ball get deeper, not deep, and then hands straight to that ball. Okay. Remember, it all starts with getting set up on time. Because if we're trying to load and rush, we're going to do this. And now, uh -oh. if we do hit it, we're not going to have any power. But I watch the difference. If I get loaded on time, watch where my hips are. Now I can go ahead and deliver a blow to the ball where I'm much stronger, and I've got all my my legs are going right in sync with my swing as opposed to legs, swing. Okay? So, I know that's a lot. Anybody confused? Here's the deal. Get set up and loaded early like we always talk about. Let the ball get deep. Or, not deep. All the action is in front of the plate. You want to hit the ball hard? You want to be a good hitter? Bat out front. Boom. Okay? We're going to work on it today. When we flip, we're not going to tell you, okay, we're flipping this one outside. We're just going to flip it out there. And if you're set up on time, it, you'll be no problem. You'll be able to see it. You'll say, all right, that ball's outside. I'm going to let it get a little deeper. And I'm going to crush it. I want you to aim. Try to knock down the second baseman, right-handers. Lefties, try to knock down the shortstop. Hit a line drive right at his head. Don't worry about the lines. Don't ever try to hit the ball down the lines. In the middle of the field. Cool. Any questions? Nine times nine. Good. Okay. We're good.